Okay, so he's not gonna win. When he said that, I was like, yeah, we're all yeah, racing I was for like, third. Yeah. So you're, you want to win? We're yeah, all racing for fun. third. Hey there, friends. Coming at you with another episode of the Pre-Ride Show here on the grounds in Emporia. Beautiful Friday afternoon here. I got my man Adam Roberge in the chair with us. Adam, welcome, how are you? Very good, very good. Nice to be in Emporia. It's not as hot as I remember, so yeah. that's very good. Yeah. It's been perfect weather since the last uh, two days, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Little chance of rain tomorrow we see, but... Yeah, it's getting, it's getting lower and lower. I wish it was way more rain, but... You like uh, those tough conditions, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I like to be cold. Yeah, okay. I don't really like the hut, but that's all. That's way better than last year. So um, okay. yeah, um, let's talk about the early season. It didn't go as planned. Yeah. You had an accident and a, and, a, and a pretty bad concussion. Yeah. Um, what happened and how are you feeling now? So I was racing uh, Paris to Ancaster. It's like one of our, of our biggest race in Canada, like uh, a gravel race. And uh, it was tricky from the finish uh, with three guys at the front uh, racing for the win. And the finish is kind of a cyclocross style finish. And I had one of my cleats uh, can't come loose and we had to bunny up something. And uh, normally I would actually like walk it like cyclocross style, but the two guys that were with me were doing World Cup cyclocross, so they, they just bunny up it. And right. I was like, ah, I'm able to bunny up it. <laughs> I bunny up it and went over the bar. And from that point on, I don't remember. I lost like 30 minutes after that. Oh I walked my way to the finish, um, but it's been, the recovery has been good. I would say, I think concussion can be a very hard thing to deal with and so far um it feels like i'm, I'm lucky so yeah. it's it's progressing it's not it's not stay it's not it hasn't leveled off you keep you keep getting yeah I, I think it, it it like the last two weeks it is it, i don't have any symptoms so yeah. uh, that's very good but like uh, at gravel local for example it was perfect for the first 170k um but yeah the the last 80 were not very good i, I was having a big big headache so physically it was there but um head wise it was still not perfect and what, what do the doctors yeah. tell you when that happens you got it is that but you shut it yeah, down at that gravel point? Local, i should have stopped at that point yeah. um yeah i but i did not but uh, yeah. i ran into you down in texas at that uh, rio grande yeah. gravel rent yeah. it was 103 degrees or yeah. something like that down yeah. there that could not have gone yeah that's that. a good example so this was before um gravel loco and right. yeah like second lap uh, Maybe it was the heat, but I don't think it was just the heat. Like, uh, I had very bad trouble like keeping focus. Yeah. Um. So I was just like, it's not, it's not a good idea. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. sucks. I'm glad you're feeling better though. Yeah, I am. I am. Uh, yeah. So now here we are back on the scene in Emporia, <laughs> geared up for a big 200 mile race tomorrow. Um, yeah. How's the fitness? Is the fitness overall pretty good? I trained very hard the last three weeks. Okay. So um, it should be very well. Um, I took that week very easy. Um, did the good activation yesterday and today. I need a little bit more activation than most of the guys I feel like. What do you mean um, by that? Activation how? Like intensity. Okay. Like uh, I did some tempos yesterday and today I did some VO2 max and max power. Okay. Not too much. Like you're not trying to like put yourself in a hole, but I still need to, to get those legs going. Um, Is that kind of help you set the top end of your engine for race day? Yeah, I feel like if not, and the starts just hurt too much. I feel okay. like I'm missing some watts, especially at the beginning. But when I do a pretty good activation, I feel like my legs are more ready. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, pre-ride the course at all, or the, what's your what's your impressions of how the course is going to lay out? I, I did pre-ride the course, but not too much. I did like the first 20k, did a connection, and the last uh, 20, um, <laughs> the connection we made was actually like crazy mud. We had to walk. <laughs> it was like mid south style. The the bike were broken. And like, so I don't know if it's gonna be parts like that tomorrow. Um, I think there might be drier than what we got two days ago, but that kind of scared me a little bit. So right now I'm thinking about the mountain bike shoes because of that part, because I hate mountain bike shoes. I just feel like they're too loose. You too, but you're such a roadie, <laughs> such a roadie. I, I know, I, I like mountain bike <laughs> shoes on mountain bike, but not on gravel. <laughs> um. Uh, not no no ch no challenge at all with the distance. Obviously, you've got the engine to compete at the distance. The technical skills are there. Um, the I think there's still a challenge with the distance. Though. <laughs> well, yeah. it is for anybody. Let's face yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. an attrition yeah, race, yeah, like yeah. most of these good gravel races mm -hmm. are. What what I'm curious is, 
we've seemed to level up the competition level. We've got yeah. more of these European riders now seeing this gravel scene here in the US and coming over. The big Dutch contingents here and Yeah, other um, guys. I was looking at the start list for the first time this uh, afternoon and I was like, oh, a lot of names from the world tour that we it's gonna be my first time racing against. I, I race against those guys like when I was doing like Tour Utah or stuff. Okay. Um, okay. And they all beat me. That that's for sure. But I was younger, so maybe it's kind of better. <laughs> But no, we got Jasper and uh, Lawrence is here again, and it's going to be a, yeah, yeah, a pretty yeah. stacked field. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is going to be a, a very, uh, very stacked field. Uh, yeah, it's it's hard to say. Unbound, everything's yeah. going to happen. It's like so unpredictable. So, yeah, people ask me if I have a strategy. Like, it's pretty much the only race that I don't really have a strategy. Like, we'll just like I'll just adjust depending on the group I'm in and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And well, sometimes too, I would think. Even if something does happen, you got to let the race come back to you, right? You can mm -hmm. only go as hard as you can go, mm -hmm. whatever group you're in. Mm -hmm. And the race might just come back to you because any one of those people in front of you might mm -hmm. have the same problem or worse that you had, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. I think Unbound, like, my first word for it to, like, I guess this year is this, like, not being discouraged. I think it's easy in Unbound to get discouraged because there's so far to do. And maybe you're not happy with the group you're in. Let's say you're fourth group on the road or third group on the road. But, like everything can come back like it's it's crazy so so i guess just just keeping the pressure on and keeping pedaling yeah um what's next after unbound where are you gonna go from here uh belgian waffle ride Asheville next nice. week okay yeah cool. so uh, i can't wait it's a longer course yep and apparently they kept the single track at the end that i was very hungry that they didn't put in last year okay so um fingers crossed for that and after that i'm doing um uh, um, a race in Canada in BC. It's a uh, like 200k race, but super super hilly. Okay. In the Okanagan uh, region, I'm staying with a friend there. We'll do some mountain biking in Whistler and stuff. Nice. And after that, I'm going not going back. To, I'm st I will still be in Canada, but I'm doing national. Um, so yeah, doing some TTing to okay. finish the block. Yeah. No road race though, or yeah, I'll do that road race. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. You like the TT stuff though, huh? That's that's uh, your real yeah, I'm right? missing. I'm really missing the TT stuff. And now with like all the new sponsors, I'm learning about how to save more watts, you know. And I realize how much I could save on the TT that I didn't do the last year before, like okay. better skin suit, uh, better like the way you treat your chain or better okay. bearings, like stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to finish the block with that, yeah. Cool. Um, can we talk about some of these sponsors? Get your bike up on the rack and yeah, have a look? Yeah, let's do it. All right, yeah. cool. <laughs>